everyone, Austin from Lifted Life Garage. I uh, wanted to do a quick video. I see a lot of questions. We get a lot of questions about, uh, you know, leveling versus suspension kit. And what is the difference between an actual lift kit and an actual leveling kit, okay? Uh, you also see a lot, how big of a leveling kit can I go uh, in order to fit certain tires in or things along those lines. So I just kind of wanted to point out some of the geometry issues with leveling kit versus suspension kit. Now, obviously leveling kits are gonna be a lot more budget conscious or budget friendly option uh, than an actual lift kit, okay? Now, what a leveling kit does, so here you can see we have all the, the factory steering components. Now, I do have the truck in the air, um, so everything is drooped at this time. However, we have our um, outer tie rod right here, so this affects the steering wheel. Uh, we have our factory strut and coil. We have our CV shaft here factory knuckle, and then you have your lower and your upper control arms, okay? Now, what a leveling kit does is a leveling kit comes up here in the top of the strut and puts an actual spacer, usually a puck spacer. You see these anywhere from uh, one and a half inch up to a three and a half inch, okay? And what that does is when you put a spacer up top here, it actually pushes all of this things down. So now keep in mind, the truck is drooped, okay? So the, the suspension is drooped, it's on a lift. Usually when the truck is sitting on its weight, you have your tie rod and your CV shaft. Those are gonna be parallel with the ground, okay? So uh, nice, nice and parallel. Uh, when you put a leveling kit up top, you push everything down. In essence, it creates an angle like so, okay? So a lot of people are like, what's the, the tallest leveling kit you can go without having to run into CV axle issues? And there's not a, there's not a real answer to that. The more, it, the more aggressive of a leveling kit you go, the higher, the more these angles of these boots are going to be, which inside of there is a little CV joint um, that rotates, okay? And the more aggressive or the more extreme of an angle this is at, the more, or the, I guess, the more quickly that is going to potentially wear and tear, cause a boot to rip, things along those lines. So, um, let's see if I can get a different angle at it from, from you here. So, you can see here, this is the CV shaft, um, you know, and right now it's a pretty aggressive angle and that's because the truck is on an actual lift and the suspension is drooped. When the truck is not lifted, it's sitting on the ground, this shaft as well as this tie rod um, is going to be parallel with the ground. So it's gonna sit more parallel. Again, when you insert and you put a puck, you guys can kind of see a silver, this has a two inch leveling kit on it right now. Uh, that puck up there right here um, is what is causing the truck to get the lift, all right? Now, when you go with a suspension lift, let me swing around and come underneath the vehicle here. A suspension lift, you have your differential, your steering rack, everything like that. Um, this cross member, as well as this front cross member, well, just the rear cross member, uh, you cut the tabs right here and an actual suspension lift, you're gonna get new cross members that bolt up underneath this and it's gonna drop your differential down and maintain those factory steering angles. Uh, so it's, it's important when it comes to overall ride quality, when it comes to how quickly you wear and tear on the vehicle, um, on the joints itself, everything along those lines. So just wanted to put together a quick video, it's kind of explaining that, um, doing a walkthrough and show you guys what's actually, once you take the wheel off, what all this stuff looks like under here. So uh, appreciate you watching and talk to you guys later.